Hi guys, my name is Delaney and today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about plants and how they grow big and how they eat and how they become very healthy. First, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the air that we breathe every single day. So, in scientific terms, which is a lot, we call the air that surrounds us our atmosphere. Now, you, you don't need to know that, but that is just the scientific term for it. But really all it is, is just the air that surrounds us. And what is in that air is two main components called oxygen, which can be, which is also O2, and then also carbon dioxide, which is CO2, which are very, I bet you probably heard, they're pretty common um, things that we talk about. And so humans, we love oxygen. And so when we breathe in the air around us, we take in all the oxygen into our lungs and put it throughout our body. But we don't really like CO2. It's just not our thing. So what we do is we breathe back out the carbon dioxide. So when we breathe in, we pull in our atmosphere, just pretty much all the air around us, and then we breathe out only carbon dioxide. Now, these guys, they freaking love carbon dioxide. They eat it all up. So what they do is they take all the CO2 in our air or carbon dioxide and they trap it in their little leaves. But then at one point they were like, well, we have all this carbon dioxide. What are we going to do with it? And then one plant said, well, what if we use the energy from the sun that we get and we change it into food? So what the plants do is they use all the beautiful energy that they get from the sun and then they take all of that carbon dioxide that we have given them and then they change it into sugar, which we also love sugar and plants do as well. And then what they do is they sit there and they eat it, eat it, eat it. They eat up all of that sugar and then what it does is they have now all of this food in them and they can grow big and strong, pretty much like you guys do. You guys are growing and plants are doing the exact same thing. But, and then after a while, you know, they eat so much sugar and they feel a little gassy. So what they do is they let out oxygen as their waste. And then we take that oxygen and we breathe it in and then we're all happy and healthy and then we bring out the carbon dioxide and then the plants take in that carbon dioxide and then they make food and then they grow all healthy and it's this cycle. So what we do is they give us oxygen to be healthy and then we give them CO2 so that they can eat and also be healthy. That's a pretty good little cycle, right? Well now, really quickly, I am going out to my garden to talk to you guys a little bit about my garden and just talk a little bit more about plants. Hi guys, so I am outside and I am sitting here with my cilantro. You can see all the little babies growing. Um, this is just one of the many herbs and vegetables I am growing. I have this, I have some rosemary, I have some green onions, just a bunch of assorted um, herbs and vegetables that I'm growing. And so I started growing these about, I would say about a month ago. And of course, right after I planted them, um, the weather decided to not be nice. And for about three weeks after I planted them, it was just rainy and it was just cloudy and it was just not nice outside. And because of that, like none of my plants got any sunshine or any of that. And so none of them grew throughout those three weeks. And the reason why is because like we were talking about earlier, none of my plants were able to get any sun. And so without the sun, they weren't able to change our carbon dioxide in our atmosphere into sugar so that they could eat it and grow big. But this week so far um, has just been absolutely sunny and gorgeous like you can see behind me. It's been about 70 degrees and every single day my plants have just been getting so, so much sun. And because they've been getting all that sun, they've been able to make so much food for themselves and they've all started growing because they actually had food to eat. And that is why they all started growing literally when it became sunny, um, which I am very happy about because I will say I was kind of upset throughout those three weeks that none of my plants were growing. Um, but I am very happy now because almost all of them are growing, which is very cool. You can just, you can see just by looking at them, how having a little sun can help things grow. And so I also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about Earth Day. So I don't know if you know this, but in about a couple a couple of days on April 22nd is we will be celebrating Earth Day. And Earth Day is a very big deal because what we celebrate on Earth Day is we're, um, we want to talk about making our planet more green and planting more trees and just helping the environment. And the reason why is because in this world we live in now, um, we create a lot of pollution and the main contributor to pollution um, is carbon dioxide. 
and the carbon dioxide that we have in our air that is polluting our air um it isn't helping us because we don't have enough plants which i will talk about to help uh, get rid of the co2 so what it does is it ends up hurting us some people it is they have to walk outside with masks because it's hard to breathe through all that pollution and that bad air that is just sitting there um and it can also hurt other animals in the environment which is like the same reason it's hard to breathe but it's also hurting a lot of our plants so a lot of our plants are dying but another reason why is because in this world we live in a lot of trees and plants are getting cut down and aren't being replanted so not only do we have a lot of co2 in our air we don't have enough plants to get rid of that co2 and so what Earth Day talks about is talking about getting that CO2 out of our air and all of that pollution out so that we can all breathe and be nice and healthy, but also plant more trees and plant more plants to try and make the world, the environment better and then make the air healthier for us and just make everyone healthier and happier. And so I encourage for all of you guys, you don't have to, but I encourage you guys to maybe um, at some point or on Earth Day, whenever you decide um, to maybe plant a flower or start a little garden you don't have to but I kind of encourage it because I personally like I show I personally have one it is very fun I like taking care of them um and it just especially since now we're all at home a lot it gets boring and this really helps so I encourage um if you don't want to it's fine but I encourage starting a little garden or planting some plants or maybe even plant a little tree and help make our earth greener and help our environment so i hope that you guys are all staying safe i hope that everyone in your life is healthy and you are healthy um wash your hands and don't be mean to your parents have a good day guys bye